everyone, it's Enes here. Welcome to another episode. This week, we're touring this phenomenal estate that was built in 1902. Now, I know what you all are thinking. You're like, Enes, it looks a little bit old school, kind of original from the exterior. The truth is, this house has been amazingly preserved and the interiors have been beautifully remodeled. Without a doubt, this is one of the most beautiful properties we've ever toured in Los Angeles. So I'm really excited for today's episode. Now, a little bit of information about the property. We got nine bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, 12,147 square feet of interior space, built on an 18,900 square foot lot. By the way, we got a beautiful backyard with a pool house as well. And this property is currently on the market for $8,995,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property in the property link down in the description of this video. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the listing agents, Tracy Tudor and Gina Dickerson for allowing us to tour their amazing listing and share it with all of you. And now let's begin our tour. located on a quiet street and from the street level we have the gates opening up to the spacious driveway that takes you to the motor court of this home. You can probably park about 12 to 15 cars here, nicely hedged. We have the toll carport located on this side opening up to the side entry of this property. Behind us we have the two car garage attached to the guest home of this property. That guest home is stunning and we're going to see that in a bit. But now I want to shift the focus towards the house itself. This estate was designed by John C. Austin, who was the person who also designed the famous Griffith Observatory. So there's a nice little historical detail there. It's a beautiful architecture. It's 120 years old and they did their best to preserve all the original details of this home with the siding, molding details, arch windows, roof lines. I mean, there are so many intricate details on the exterior that uh, it's almost a video on its own. But overall, it's nicely preserved. I wanna take everybody to the main entry. We got this gorgeous front lawn area, nicely grassed, beautiful trees around. I feel like I'm in Italy right now. As we're walking to the entry, right on the other side, we gotta show this. We got an awesome water feature. I mean, look at all these trees, Mikey. So overgrown and kind of like matured up and I don't know. It's like the moment you step into the property, it's different. Yeah, you just kind of leave LA behind. It's really quiet and peaceful and so much green and I don't know, living in an apartment, we don't, we don't get that. We don't get that at all, right? Let's shift to the entrance of the property. Look at all those carving details around the windows, this curved covered entry, roof lines. I mean, it's a phenomenal architecture. And as we come up here, we can actually see some of the same foundational, uh, I say foundational, the work they've done on the foundation with the stacked stone and these uh, exposed grout lines. We can actually see that detail here. And there's a really cool story about the foundation of this home. I'm going to explain that later. As you come up to the main entry, you can see this wraparound porch that connects both exterior doors. Again, beautiful woodwork throughout. And we have the door here. Let's go inside. All right, everyone. Here we are at the entry. We have beautiful hardwood floors throughout. And as soon as you step in, you see this super spacious entry where you can actually see all the rooms attached to it. I mean, it's so grand. I want to give everybody a quick scale here. Gorgeous chandelier in the center, complemented with this marble table. And like I said, I can see all the rooms on this level from this point. Now, I'm going to start on the right hand side. We got a little seating nook here, beautiful woodwork this wide staircase that takes us to the second floor and the third floor of this home. The glazed windows that we saw on the exterior, we can actually see them a little bit better from the interiors. I bring a ton of natural light to the entry of this property and focusing this side underneath the staircase, we got a secondary seating nook. I have to take a seat here. Because something, about, something about these always gets me. Uh, so cool, right? I just want to like, you know, read a book on a rainy day in here or something. I know, super warm. I love the stain color they picked here. Even with these like smaller windows, so much character here, love it. Like you said, it's like antique, but everything works and everything opens and- yeah. Beautifully preserved. I mean, the house is in a stunning condition. 
Let me show this. We got a small seating area here. Mikey, let's get a close up. My bad. I'm already changing directions. Even these like pocket door handles are all original. Let's see that. Oh yeah, we didn't talk about it, but the front door handle was incredible. Yes, we did. We can always show that back. We'll but, take uh, a peek on our walk back. It's beautiful. We have a small family room seating area here, looking at the side of the property. That door opens up the hallway that I'm gonna show in a bit. And I love these curved ceiling details that they have pretty much throughout the property. It's almost giving that craftsman touch, right? It just makes the home feel a little bit more special. I love the subtle molding detail also. Curtains have this trim on top, giving it more of that traditional look. Overall, beautiful palette, super warm, and the light fixtures throughout this property is stunning. How do they get that curved ceiling? Is that like drywall and stucco for the curve? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Imagine the time you have to put to make sure you perfect all the curves. Yeah. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. We also got a fireplace here and going back to the entry, we got a secondary fireplace. We'll show these rooms in a bit and I'm going to go straight to the other side. By the way, we have the same pocket doors also here again with the beautiful hardware. And this is where you have your formal living room area on the left hand side facing the front lawn that we just toured. I love curved walls. Something about these historic homes with their curved walls and their curved windows that immediately gives you that character. And as you guys can see, bringing a ton of natural light to the space. We have a gorgeous brass chandelier above, nice cozy seating, and the listing agents and the staging company that they hired did a phenomenal job with the staging of this home. We're gonna see all the furniture throughout. Now, this space flows straight into your formal dining room area. Super elegant. We got a table for eight here, another brass light fixture, fireplace on the other side. The moment me and Mikey walked into the property, we were shocked with how spacious and open the property felt, even though it's almost 120 years old. Amazing. Yeah, for sure. Now, I'm gonna take everybody, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. I'm just like super stoked about the property and its details. It's all right, I'm, I'm usually just, words just fall out of my mouth when we shoot these things, you know? There you go. All right, Mikey, let's go this way. So we have a secondary family room and I think this is the main family room. I say main because it's right next to the kitchen. Really spacious in the heart of the home. Same hardwood floors are also here. And of course, we got to talk about the woodwork that we've been seeing throughout with the molding details. We can see the built-ins here, another fireplace. This door opens up from the formal dining room area. Again, walls of glass bring a ton of natural light. It's almost uncommon for a home this age to have these kind of oversized windows, but it certainly helps. Seating section here, another chandelier with the curved ceilings. This door opens up to the backyard, which we're gonna check out in a bit. And Mikey, can we show this side? We say family room, right? You gotta have a TV with some built-ins. It's a great size room. Yeah, and I feel like from the exterior, some of our audience might be kind of hesitant to click on the video, but once it's you go in the house- It's not for everyone. Yeah, but once you go in the house, everything looks brand new, and it looks like intentionally kind of historic almost, like a Tudor style, yeah. Absolutely, totally agree. All right, let's check out the kitchen. So we have the kitchen here, very modern. I love the cement tiles on the floors with the pattern. We got a massive island up front with natural stone countertops, bar seating, chandeliers above. We got another exterior door that opens up to the backyard with a transom window above. We love quirky details like this with the molding and all that. You have your security cameras. You see who's coming in, who's going out. And we have the base cabinets here, let's see. Nice two-tone cabinetry, by the way, two dishwashers, nicely paneled in. And I love how they didn't put any uppers here and it's all windows facing the backside of the property. You can actually see your backyard from here, your first sink, just super cozy. Ton of natural light coming in. In a weird way, this reminds me of Ryan Serhant's kitchen from his new place. Kind of does. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Good call, Mikey. Y'all check out that video if you haven't seen it. His building and his layout, right? Yeah, in the house he lives in, yeah. Absolutely. Second sink, and we have the 48 inch Thermador gas stove here, commercial vent above. I love the wood tones and the warmth of this kitchen without a doubt. Now, Mikey, let's show this real quick. Paneled in fridge and freezer on that side. I wanna make sure we cover that. Pantry space here. Let's check out this room real quick. I'm sorry, I'm already getting distracted. Wine fridge. That would've killed me if we missed that. All right, now let's check out this room. I mean, how cool is this space? You got a dining room slash breakfast nook here, super bright. All these windows are big and ton of natural light. That's the side of the property. That's your backyard. Same tiles, built-ins. 
I would love to just cook in this kitchen, have breakfast here, leave the exterior door open, float to your backyard. Yeah. Sounds like a dream. Yeah, all these windows too, uh, they are original, right? They have that kind of old window look where the where you look through them and the image gets slightly distorted, you know? Absolutely, that, that gla not glazed glass, but that old school glass. Yeah, it's like not consistent in, in its like smoothness. Absolutely, which gives that character. Yeah. Even the chandelier here, gorgeous, gorgeous space. Now I wanna take everybody to the back for a second. I say back, so that's your entry right there. We got a couple closets here, second staircase going up to the second floor of this home and following this hallway, we got a gorgeous powder room here with mosaic tiles on the floors, glazed tiles on the walls, modern pedestal sink, and right across, we have this door here, opening up to the first family room that we just toured. And the staircase here goes down to the lower level where we have a really spacious movie theater slash screening room, complemented with a wine room on the back. Overall, it's a great space that is nicely tucked underneath the home. And that's pretty much it for the main floor or the first floor of this home. Now let's go back to the staircase and check out the second floor. All right, everyone, here we are at the second floor landing. We have these gates opening up. And in case you were wondering what these are, these are for child safety. Wanted to mention that. And as soon as you come up to the landing, it's super spacious here. But before we start our tour on this level, I wanna give a little history lesson here. And I know Mikey doesn't know this. So this home was built in 1902 and it was called the Higgins Burbick Estate. And it was at the time worth $37,000 with its lot and the house itself. In 1923, they decided to cut up the house in three different pieces and carry the house from that location to this location, which is here in Hancock Park. So imagine in 1923, this house cut up in three different pieces and carried out by trucks, moved 22 blocks, which is insane to think about. And the reason they did that was the old location was on a commercial street. Wilshire Corridor or Wilshire Boulevard is a busy street here in Los Angeles. So they didn't want to have the house there anymore. They wanted to have it in Hancock Park, which is actually more appropriate. And while they were carrying the house, they even threw a party in one of the three pieces and even mayor of LA at the time attended to that party. Now, how cool is that story? Yeah, that's, pre that's, that's pretty cool. I'm really curious how they moved it because that was what, that was right after like the Model T was released. So they didn't have trucks back then. They had these like small old school cars and well, there are actually by, some pictures. It was pulled by, it wasn't pulled by horses though. No, no, no. But imagine in 1920s trying to pull that off while you're throwing a party and mayor of LA is in there hundred years ago. It's insane. And I mentioned this at the beginning of the video with the foundation. So obviously when they carried the house, they had to pour a brand new foundation here. And that's how they probably got the basement level as well. So here's a little bit of lesson right there about the story of this home. Now let's continue to the tour of the second floor. We got this awesome seating nook here, again with a beautiful curved wall. I love the hardware they have for these windows that opens up to the side, I guess. Gets ton of natural light. Same woodwork details are also here. We got a chandelier of the staircase as well. And right next door, off of the landing, we got this small seating section with a built-in desk setup, some upper cabinets. Overall, it's a really cozy spot where you can sit down, get some work done. Now, as we go back to the landing of the second floor, it's super spacious. Same hardwood floors are also here. We got a gorgeous chandelier right in the center. And to complement and cozy up this landing on the second floor, they have this beautiful built-in setup here with the ladder. We always love this detail, same molding details also above. Super cozy, I mean, this is the landing, amazing. Yeah, really nice. Now, first door on our left-hand side opens up to the first very spacious bedroom that we have on this level, currently staged as kids' bedroom. I love the staging here, all the colors. We even have some stands and some uh, chairs and toys for the kids. Well, don't, don't, you can't just brush over that American barbecue stand what a way. I knew you were going to say something about that. <laughs> what, a, what a way to indoctrinate the American youth by other than putting a... It's the American dream, Mikey. $12 for a rack of ribs, though. What a deal. It's a deal. Yeah. All right. We got a closet here. Again, room is super spacious. Same curved wall details also here with the ceilings as well. And going across, look how beautiful this bathroom is. Marble everywhere, all the way into our walk-in shower floors. And we have the timeless subway tile 
in the walk-in shower. You got your freestanding tub, beautiful vanity design, marble countertops, and it actually opens up this small balcony on the outside as well. Now, I wanna take everybody back to the landing and continuing our tour right next to this bedroom. By the way, look at all these arched details and plaster details that we see throughout. This door opens up to the primary bedroom suite. This room is super inviting. Same hardwood floors are also here. We have the king size bed on this side. Something about these curved walls and curved ceilings and brass light fixtures. It's so cozy, it's so timeless. I love the natural light coming in and I love how these windows are curved as well, just kind of wrapping the wall. And Mikey, can we show the view you get from your primary bedroom? It feels like we're in a tree house. Look at all these trees and hedges and greenery we see. I mean, if you take a picture from here and send it to someone, they would never know that you're in LA. In the, in the heart of LA. You're in the heart of LA, that's right. Yeah. Overall, great size room, super inviting. Mikey, let's show this. There's a TV on the other side, picture of a really cute kid, kind of closing up the room, I guess. And, uh, it's a permanent fixture, yeah. And uh, going this way, we have the bathroom here. This bathroom carries out some of the same details that we saw in the other bathroom. Marble floors throughout, but this time they installed the tiles and the herringbone pattern, which is that timeless look that we always love. We have some built-in closets here. Right in the center of this bathroom, we have this freestanding tub with a chandelier above. And what a great place to put the tub because we have the TV on the other side with the fireplace. So you can just enjoy your tub, watch some TV in the morning or later in the afternoon, whatever you like. And let's see, Mikey, let's take a quick peek. We got a water closet here with a fancy toilet. Very nice. We always like those. Walk-in shower, this one I'm gonna step inside because I love the character and details here. Mosaic floors on the marble. This beautiful mosaic pattern, kind of on the second half of the bathroom. We have the subway tiles on the lower section. Look at your shampoo niche and how they carry this oval window detail with the marble. I don't even know how they fabricated this piece. Steam shower, you have your shower head, rain head above. This bathroom is gorgeous, and this is what I meant at the beginning of the video. Inside of this home is just so tastefully, so beautifully remodeled. It's still that timeless look, but yet it's so new and fresh. Now, focusing on this side, we have the vanity set up here, dual sinks, beautiful marble countertops, wood tones with the cabinets. You have this center section here, kind of like your prep area, and they carried out the same marble details on the walls as well, framing these mirrors. Look at these gorgeous brass fixtures. And we even got a window here to let some natural light and fresh air to come into this uh, bathroom. In fact, Mikey's saying, why don't you give it a shot? So let's- I think you pull it towards you. Look at that. Really cool. That is super cool. That was really cool. Yeah. I'll give you that one. <laughs> you were kind of scared at first. <laughs> I was, because I don't like kind of opening up, closing things a lot, but yeah. that was really cool. All right. This door opens up to a beautifully decked out closet space for the primary bedroom. Overall, great spot, beautiful bathroom. Overall, just very spacious primary bedroom suite. Now, let's go back to the landing, continue our tour. Again, super spacious. We have a couple hallway closets here, beautiful curved walls, and this door opens up to the third bedroom suite on this level. Again, good size, king size bed setup. We have all these windows bringing natural light. Chandelier above, Mikey, let's show this. We got a walk-in closet here with a sliding pocketing door. And this door opens up to the bathroom for this bedroom. This bathroom is one of the coolest, kind of chicest and glamorous bathrooms we've ever seen on this channel. Now I say glamorous because Something about the way this room is designed where it feels like a sunroom and you have this freestanding tub, little palm tree, the chandeliers, and again, all these windows opening up to the backyard and all you see is the screenery. I think it's super inviting. It's super unique and without a doubt, I think this is actually my favorite bathroom in this house. It feels very old school Hollywood in here. Something about it, even, even though I can't really put my finger on what makes me think that. Like I'm thinking in like 1920s, I can see a Hollywood star, actress, laying down in this tub, just enjoying the scenery here, you know? Yeah, it's very like LA Confidential. There yeah. you go. Yeah. That's a perfect way of explaining it. Good job, Mikey. Yeah. Without a doubt, it feels that way too. Yeah, if you haven't seen LA Confidential, go Definitely watch it. Definitely check it out, it's a good movie. <laughs> yeah. Double vanity setup here, again, that timeless look with the wood paneling, 
marble countertops, wool sconces, and Mikey, let's show this way. You got a gorgeous walk-in shower here. That timeless subway tile look all the way to the ceiling. Brush nickel fixtures, gorgeous, gorgeous bathroom. Now, let's go back to the hallway again. I think we got one more room to see here. And it's on this side. These are hallway closets. And this is the second staircase that goes up to the third floor of this home. We're gonna check that out in a bit. Let's check out this room now. Another kid's room, or I guess staged as kid's room, but uh, very spacious, ton of natural light coming in, facing the backyard and going through here. We got another timeless bathroom design with the marble floors, mosaic tiles into the walk-in shower and vanity set up here. And that's pretty much it for the second floor of this home. Now let's take the stairs and check out the third floor. All right, everyone, top floor. We got a few more rooms to check out here. Starting on my left-hand side, we have a full bathroom for this level, beautiful marble floors, vanity setup, opens up to the gym on the other side. And following this hallway, we got a good size bed here facing the front of the home with its own bathroom. And right across the other side, we have the laundry room, two washers, two dryers, a lot of cabinetry. Since it's a big home, a lot of bedrooms, it's nice that they have this kind of spacious laundry room. Now, I wanna take everybody back to the landing. Right in the center, we have this awesome area with the pool table, TV setup, and right across through this arched opening, we go into your bar setup slash game room on this level. First off, Mikey, we gotta check out this game table here. Look how cool the section is, and they have the same rustic exterior, vertical siding detail on the interiors here with the windows. So much character, I love it. Yeah, it's really cool. I love it. TV setup, your bar section here, high top with the countertops, and you know, you have your fridge and all that good stuff. Great room that complements, almost makes this level kind of an entertainment space. And let's see, we got a couple more rooms to see. This door opens up to the gym on this level with a really chic and kind of awesome balcony setup that we can see at the end. Another spacious room here facing the front of the home. I mean, super spacious. This could easily qualify as a primary bedroom on this level. And again, staging, they did a phenomenal job. Now, we got, I think, a couple more rooms to see. A lot of bedrooms in this house. We got another gorgeous bedroom here, fireplace, king size bed, and closet space here, right across the bathroom. Let's take a quick look of this bathroom. Same finishes again, marble floors, timeless subway tile design, vanity right next to me. Overall, honestly, each one of the bedrooms are really spacious. I love they all have their own bathrooms. Now, Mikey, get ready for the coolest room on this level. This room has no windows. It is that unique curve that we saw on the exterior facing the front of the home, and it is their yoga room. This is uh, pretty cool. I could, I could, this would be a great like theater also. Boom. Theater, screening room, or a room that you just want to get away from everything and don't want to hear the world and want to be in your zone, this is the spot. Come in here, light some candles, you know. Just, just meditate, sound bath, a lot of things that people do in LA, you know, I'm just, I'm not saying I'm doing them, but. Well, could you, could this be a bedroom? Would it bother you to not have windows in your bedroom? Not at all. Yeah, I sleep, think it's super cozy. You sleep whatever, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Like, doesn't matter, you step in here, it's dark. Yeah. All right, everyone, that's it for the top floor. Now let's go all the way to the main floor and check out the backyard. All right, let's check out this backyard. These are the two exterior doors that opens up from the kitchen and the family room. And the moment you step to your backyard, it's super tranquil up here, super private, nicely hedged. You can see all these beautiful trees. And right in front of me, we have the patio area. And in the center of the patio, we got this gorgeous pool set up with light blue plaster, raised spa element. And in case you were wondering why we have glass railing throughout, again, it's a safety feature for the kids, but I'm sure the next owner can easily disassemble or keep this glass railing. I assume the previous owners must have had some children because every floor has those gates. There's a lot of... Uh, Little details. Yeah, child injury prevention details. <laughs> exactly. I don't know if that's Nobody what it's wants called. that problem, Mikey. Yeah. But overall, super cozy. Mikey, let's wrap around and show this backyard. Again, it's nicely hedged. We have the stained concrete floors pretty much throughout. 
nice outdoor lounging areas here with a little bed set up here, fire pit on this side. Again, just really cozy. And Mikey, can we take a look at the property here? When me and Mikey arrived at this property, we were just shocked with how substantial the exterior and like the size of this property looked. And by the way, those are the windows that are opening up from the bathroom that I mentioned earlier that's facing the backyard. Ton of character. Outdoor dining area here. We got the barbecue set up on the other side. And let's see, coolest guest house. I say coolest because let me take you guys in. We have all these French doors opening up to your pool area. As soon as you walk in, this is kind of like the seating area, living room with a small kitchenette. I mean, seriously, look at the space. Hardwood floors, recess and lights, TV section over here with a seating setup. And right behind me, we have the kitchenette. And I mean, I say kitchenette, but dishwasher, sink, gas stove, vent, fridge. You have everything you need here. Yeah, it's like full sized almost. Almost. I mean, the only thing it's missing is a small island set up here, but that's optional. You, you, got a, you got a little coffee table over there. It's fine, right? Yeah. We have a powder room over here for this level, and I'm assuming this also serves as your pool bathroom. And this French door opens up to the motor court, and these two French doors open up to the backyard. I love it. I mean, it's so peaceful. The view you're looking at is so cool. And right upstairs, we have two spacious bedrooms. One of them is currently staged as an arts and crafts room. And the other one is a very spacious bedroom setup that is facing the backyard, super cozy. And both of these bedrooms share a full-size bathroom right in the center. Overall, this is a beautiful guest home that really complements this estate. All right, everyone, that's it for the tour. You guys saw it all. Beautiful estate with four levels, and I love how they preserved the exterior of this home, but yet interior was beautifully remodeled with exquisite finishes. That detached guest home is phenomenal with the two-car garage. I love the vibe and energy of that guest home, and it opens up to that beautiful backyard that we just saw. Overall, it's a great estate, without a doubt, one-of-a-kind property. And for that, I really wanna thank the listing agents, Tracy Tudor and Gina Dickerson for getting us in here, giving us a chance to tour this phenomenal property and share it with all of you. And lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, just make sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you guys next week.